This is a video for how to go about utilizing configurations in Fusion 360. In a recent update in Fusion 360, they created a new toolbar called Configure. And you'll see the word Configure in the Configuration table, but we can't really do anything with Configure until we create some parameters. Now, if you don't see Configure right here, one thing you need to know is you have to be in a team. So in the top left-hand corner, you need to go in and just create a team of your own or join a team maybe you've been invited to, but you have to be in a team function in order to see Configure. Now, before we can use Configure, we have to create some sketch parameters. So for the sake of this video, we're going to be creating this kind of hollow box. So we have to kind of revisit some concepts of creating parameters within Fusion. So we're going to create a box by clicking on create sketch and what I want to do is go up to create and we're going to go to rectangle and I'm going to, go to center rectangle and I'm going to click on the origin and I'm going to drag out and I want the width to be five so I'm going to hit five and then hit tab and I want the height to be four and a half and I'm going to hit enter and you know we've created five and four here but these are numeric they're not really you know named functions so we need to go into the modify toolbar and go down to change parameters and when we go into change parameters you'll see I got user parameters but configure doesn't really read the user parameters it wants to read the model parameters so we're going to click on these two two arrows and where it says D1 you'll see that I have the five here for my width so I'm going to tap on D1 and I'm going to call this width I'm going to type the word width remember this is case sensitive so I like to capitalize my first letter just because it's case sensitive now for D2 this is going to be the height and you can see that over here on the right hand side of your screen now four and a half is 90 percent of five so I want the height to always behave in a way that relates to the width so we're going to type out width and you'll see how it's red and then it starts to turn black once it turns black it means it's red another you know parameter that we've named and I'm going to go times 0.9 and once I hit enter you'll notice that stays at four and a half and over here we have the function of four and a half our next step is we need to create another center point rectangle to define some thickness so I'm going to go to create rectangle center rectangle I'm gonna click on the origin and I'm gonna drag out just however we place the rectangle is fine just let's try not to snap it here to this line though and we're gonna click I'm gonna go up to dimension and we're gonna dimension the thickness between here and here when I click I just want to drag up let's just place the dimension and hit enter because we'll go back to modify go back to change parameters and the third dimension we place that's why this is d3 the first one was the width second was the height the third one's gonna be the thickness so I'm gonna tap on d3 and I'm gonna type thickness and what I want is the thickness to always be five just five percent of whatever the width is so I'm gonna start typing width and then we're gonna say times 0 0.05 that's where it'll always be 5% of the width. And you'll notice it's just going to be a quarter of an inch in this case. We need to go back to dimension. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go to here. I'm going to drag over. And one thing we can also do is you can click on these you know, little dots right here. And you can see where i got these other dimensions. I also have the word thickness right here. So I can just click on thickness and hit enter. And now we have a perfect thickness all the way around the box. Makes it very convenient for what we want to do. We're going to go to finish sketch. We're going to grab a hold of extrude and we're going to extrude a depth here and we want a depth of four so we can go ahead and just say four but we need to define how four relates to the width so we're going to go back to modify back to change parameters and now we have ourselves an extrusion when you hit the little arrow the fifth dimension we have placed is what the depth is now we're going to ignore the taper angle we're not going to mess with the taper angle too much but where it says d5 we're going to type the word depth and we have the number four over here four is 80 percent of the number five so I'm gonna type width and I'm gonna go times 0.8 just so you know we could do division and things we could do you know different ways I like to do um, percentages myself so because we can do a lot more significant digits here if we wanted to and see how we have the depth of four so now we have four and we have ourselves this little box that you know is, is hollow and what if we wanted different size boxes and that's where configuration comes into play we're gonna go up to configure and click on configure and it's going to say, you know, while you're in conf configuration mode, these are all the different things you can do to configurations. You can do a lot of really neat things. Just for the sake of this video, we're only going to talk about just some basic dimension changes. Um, in another video, I can get into more, um, you know, maybe some more heavier things we can do with configurations. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And down in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see where you have these two things highlighted in blue. And I'm going to tap on our sketch and basically what it's asking is you know what do you want um, to use in for configurations what do you want to itemize things by and I'm gonna say you know I want the width up there and I'm gonna say okay I'm also gonna 
eventually, you know, we're going to take, we're going to put some fillets on here, but we'll save that here for a second. I'm going to say configuration one is five and I'm going to hit plus right here because I want another configuration. And I'm going to say configuration two is going to be slightly larger. This one's going to be seven inches. And when I hit enter, you know, it's automatically going to jump. I'm going to hit plus configuration three. I'm going to call this three and a half. This is going to be our miniature version. So what's nice about configuration one, I can right click on this and go to rename. And I call this one, you know, this is our, you know, medium size. I misspelled medium. I meant to put a, um, I meant to put a U down there. Actually, the letter A. Medium configuration two. Let's go to rename. We're going to call this one large and we'll call this one small. So we have ourselves the configurations and all I have to do is just, you know, click in and out of them. One thing also, you have this pull down menu up here in your browser area now where I can jump in and out of all the different kinds of configurations I have going on. So I mentioned that we were just going to place some fillets. So I want to click on fillet and I'm going to click on these four corners because we're going to talk about suppressing features within the box. So we have ourselves our four corners here. I need to find a way to get around to that other corner I have not clicked on. Let's see here. I got these three. Got to find a way to get around. Trying to look at this view cube here. There we go. This is our other one. And what I want to say is go to a front view is, you know, what do I want my edges to be? And I want it to be, you know, the width. We're going to do a smaller sig figure. So I'm going to say the width times 0 0.0625. That's what I want my corners to be all the time. So whatever the width is, it's going to stay a consistency here. So when I hit enter and I go back up to my house, it's reading off of the width. So once again, I'll go to medium and you'll see how my fillet sizes change along. And these are my configurations. So if I go back to my configuration panel here, I can say, you know, on the small one, I really don't want fillets. I only want fillets on the large and the medium sizes like that. Maybe that's a premium feature. So I'm going to tap down here on the fillet and I want to say suppression and I'm going to say, okay, now you'll see how the boxes all have check marks, but for the small ones, I don't want fillets. I'm going to uncheck that box and the fillets go away. If I go to close and go to my house button here, you know, let's go back to our medium one. The medium one gets fillets. The large one gets fillets. These are our configurations. So we can change the sizes as they go from the parameters that we've defined. We defined everything based on the width within configurations in our new toolbar. We do a lot of different neat things. So kind of like designing any different kind of part, you can base parts based upon other things and see based off other dimensions and change things. You can do a lot of really in-depth, neat things with this. Build a, you know, build an automata box where everything's off the width and the whole size changes and everything configures and changes. You do a lot with this on a high, high level. So this has been a video for how to go about utilizing configurations in Fusion 360.